New on WLWT, a bittersweet surprise for a Cincinnati woman who lost her father years ago. That's right. He was a well-known singer and songwriter. WLWT News Science Chris, Chris Jacobs joins us now to show us how the momentum from the past is keeping his memory alive, Chris. Yeah, and it seems the music never stops for some. And some people say there's no such thing as a coincidence. And that sentiment was echoed here when a childhood neighbor stumbled upon a beloved piece of the past. He was just a good man with the biggest heart and heart of gold, a beautiful spirit, and a voice to match. A Cincinnati native, American singer and songwriter, Carl Dopkins Jr., best known for his 1959 hit, My Heart is an Open Book, passed away in 2020, but his legacy is still alive. His daughter, Anita, received a message last week that has changed her life. Well, I got a private message on Facebook from an old neighbor and her brother had been to an auction house on Fairfield on Route 4 and saw this guitar that would autograph from my dad and took some pictures and messaged her, please tell Anita that this is, this is there. After getting into a mini bidding war at the auction house, the guitar is now back where Anita says it belongs. It was an emotional ride home, took it home and wrapped it up in a little blanket and uh, and now we're giving it some TLC, trying to breathe some life back into it. What some would consider a coincidence, she considers a wink from a higher power. I've just really felt like of all the places of all the world for one of these guitars to turn up and him see it and contact that. You know, it really, I think this was a God connection there. It had to be. I know it was. Every time I walk by, it just kind of makes me feel warm and smile and I say, Hey, Dad. Anita says there's one thing she wants her dad to know. Just keep singing pretty just like you wanted me to, Dad. Just keep sharing that joy of music just like he shared it with me. Well, Anita Dobkins White is a vocalist herself in the musical duo Anita and the Daves. She says she'd love to play that guitar on stage one day. Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.